Hello and welcome to the next episode of Banner Saga 3 with me, Winslayer. I'm in the middle of a battle here, and I think it's going okay, but I feel like I don't understand how this party's supposed to work yet. could do the thing that hurts anything that's not a dredge like in front of me Let's see how how wide that ability is right it's drum fire I think it goes forward and it can attack this guy and this guy or I can attack one two three four a bunch of dudes over here Do it this way. I can pour a bunch of points into lowering his attack. Got three armor break. If I don't, he's gonna attack me. Got extra armor here. Now you regain armor from him. Still, I think we're gonna go on the offense. I think I have to go on the offense here. Oh wait, they absorb, don't they, for the first few points. Rud. This is gonna hurt. A lot. Well... That was silly. He comes up first out of all of them. probably use her to heal up Ivor if we really wanted to. I'm worried about this guy. He's gonna hurt Ivor as well. None of them are, are have diagonal for Ivan, which is unfortunate. Restored though, if I go next to him, Kiwi. Let's throw a bolt of lightning on him because I don't like his attack. He's got up too much attack for my liking. Resist, resist, resist. I want to restore him up a little bit. I'm curious how much restoring she can do. The other move is I attack the guy with 12 attack there. He comes up after Ollie, so Ollie's going to be able to attack. Also, Kiwi can attack him. So both Kiwi and Ollie have options here. Let's go help out him. Let's see what we can do here. Oh wow, that that's pretty good. I 
I use key visibility over here on these guys to make it so that they don't really have a lot of options. I think I'll go for him. Or him. That one's not in the turn order, so let's go for this one. We can kill him. Let's kill him. Oh, almost killed him. So we're going to actually get more enemies pretty soon here. how many more we're about to get. Could use his axe storm here and hope for the best. You can just kill this guy out, right? Seems like an okay plan. Just kill him. It's behind our lines. I don't like that. Alright, Ivan. Who's diagonal to who? This guy's diagonal to just that one. Don't use the main thing on that guy then. That was a good test. <laughs> now I know not to do that. It could reduce him. But he's just gonna armor break Kiwi, isn't he? We don't know where people are gonna spawn on the map, so let's keep you near Ollie. probably going to need to get tr a trade out at the end of this wave if we're going to keep going. Are we in a wave type situation? I can't tell actually. Jeez. Do we have to fight all these guys down too? It looks like we have as long as we want now. Which is nice, because probably going to want a while. All zoomed in now. I can't zoom out. Okay, there we go. I 
want to take out the big ones first and leave the small ones that have terrible armor break. Oh, they don't. None of them have terrible armor break. some willpower for the kill I think. I forgot Ollie's got that item that allows him to get willpower for kills. It's important I don't forget that because we need to get some kills here. one will and then attack him just to kill him let's do it let's just kill him oh no now she can't move curse you it's a little jerk cost a will point to cast because if it does that's kind of annoying let's take this guy out I don't want him bleeding people She's just going to have the bleed modifier on her now. That's just how it's going to be for her. If she moves, she's in danger. Same with Kiwi. Both of them are in that same spot. of two damage there versus yeah Ooh, we could pass it along these guys pass the lightning Three, it will 
go down the entire line here. I'll probably kill. I'll kill one of them at least. Let's go for it. Alright, Kiwi. It's a good target for you there. Does your skill allow her to go through people? Like, if I want to ride the lightning at him. Does that work? Minus one will. Minus, just like... Okay. I think I can do that. Tiles, one, two, three. forward, jump into the fight. I think I'd rather block off uh, Alf Wen and start doing some armor damage to him. friend here. I think I bring him there. Oh shoot, he can get to there? From there? No. That was so bad. That was really dumb. Oh, Ivor, you can move. Alright, don't kill any targets. Whatever you do, do not kill targets. one another, so we'll save this for another character. Ouch. So that does dissipate over time, it just takes a little bit of time. cast, I think, lightning on one of these guys. Let's do it on the ranger. I want the ranger out of my face. if we need to reduce the ranger. Who to restore? Who to restore? 
probably Ivor. next and he can get to Kiwi. That's a little sad for Kiwi, I guess. You can kill this one off. I think that's safe. The question is, is it smart? Because he wasn't doing much back there. Now we need to move Seems safe. Is there anybody to sit up in the diagonal? No, but I do need to reduce some of their attacks. Like this bear is not a fun looking bear. doesn't cost her willpower. So he's coming up pretty soon. Kind of want him to part next to Kiwi. And him. So bring you over here and we'll attack here. Bring Ivan around. Bring what's her face this way. I could park him next to Kiwi, given how low his armor is, but we need Ivor there. Could troll him and him, potentially. Yeah, let's do that. This is, oh shoot, this is gonna kill a guy. I guess that's okay. He's going to suffer a bit of damage when this guy runs in to attack him there. We could bring him back just by one, and then Kiwi's going to take the brunt of attacks. Strength of will, ride the lightning. Could ride the lightning, get an injury. I think she just she would be guaranteed to not survive this. And I don't I don't feel like doing that to her. I can avoid it. Important to remember that Kiwi's bleed in here. I could put the thing down to make it so that they don't want to come this way. This 
guys will path through that, I think. Some of them will. The bear will. I was gonna tear. Uh, okay, I thought he'd go through the uh, stuff here. I guess he decided that wasn't worth it. Dredge, technically? I guess they're technically dredge. The bear isn't. This guy isn't. But that is. Okay. I guess. Um, not what I wanted to see here. I can either repair him for, like, nothing, or I can put some points onto him. Before you do that, actually. Yeah, we need to use these here. Got a little bit more health now. Hey, I just got a new follower. That's cool. Oh, no, Ivor can't move. Or else he's going to suffer a bit. Either armor break him for Ollie, or we can armor break him for like Falka or somebody, maybe. He's got 15 in attack and he can get to one of my more valuable units. I'm going to invest heavily in hurting him. Should I leave the 7 on, on the board here? It's not able to do that much from there. Oh, and she's no longer bleeding, it looks like. I could have her run in on him. She's got 12 attack, he's got 12 attack, 15 armor. Be able to do one point of an attack. It might be worth running her over and actually doing armor break on this guy. There's a bear there, a 15 attack. Let's look at the turn order. We got this guy, that's 7, a 14. He's going to try and hurt Ivor, I think. We got this 15 coming up. 
Ivor can't really do much against the this guy who comes after him. I think Ivor's about to go down. Actually, really hurt Ivan. She can restore health. The bear's gonna have 17. So if he's reduced down to just three, the bear can hurt, can kill him. This guy's gonna come in and wreck Ivor as well. We could probably stun somebody actually. Let's stun somebody with her. She's just as likely to die if I if I do that then. I don't want her going down if I can avoid it. Stop warping him. Ouch. I'll just do armor break and then open him up for the 17 attack. My other option is to put some hurt on him so he can't do any damage. The 11's coming up next. They'll probably try to weaken Ivor in this 10. They'll also try to weaken up Ivor. 13 my... It's the 17 that I'm really worried about. Not a lot I can do at this point. I don't know who they're going to target, but I assume it's him. Oh, I can run him out of there, actually. I can run him back. The bear would, would be a problem. That I, f I should have been paying closer attention. He won't have an attack if I am lucky. The bear can move. Looks like three tiles away from him. If I go over here with Ivor, maybe. Level one, two, three, I'll kill her. Because 17 is, that's 15. Can kill her in one hit. Either attack his attack, or we go for his armor so Ollie can weaken him. His attack. I think it's armor break. I think we go for armor break here. Got battering ram, tempest. I could tempest. He's only got nine attack though.
Oh, not good. So all he needs to do is 16 points of damage. Which means if he has a point of willpower, which he does, he can kill Ivor. What a bummer. Alright, then we go for the next best target, this guy, I guess. Can I get a kill? Because kill's better than no kill. Or is it? Because now the 17 attacks more often. There's 14 coming up, followed by the 12, and this 11. The 10 is coming up pretty late, and then it's followed by the 15. So I want to place my guys in a way that's smart for addressing these guys and their, their concerns. Since there's no willpower, he doesn't have any willpower to lose. Running him back might be okay. At 11, he can't reach. Just park him over there in that corner, I guess. Could restore Kiwi's health a little bit here for him. So Kiwi can do a lot more damage. Protect the others. Or Kiwi here a bit. He can do less attack now. Ouch. That bear. run at them and confuse the uh, 17 attack, or stun them I think, reduce their attack by 20%, something along those lines, I don't know what it is exactly, that's, let's get over here I think, oh no, 
I can't do that with an eight, eight attack on that. Mm. Could do some armor break maybe. So Ivan's gonna have a move, Ollie's gonna have a move, Folk is gonna have a move before he does, and then afterwards Alfred's gonna have a, a second move. Kiwi's only going to get to go once here. Kiwi, you don't have much. You have a little bit of willpower. You have two. I'll be able to use your special on these guys in front. Oh, she has a spear. She can reach over, huh? Still don't want her going down, so we're gonna run her all the way over here. And do some armor break. some points into him so he can't do that much to him. Get easier for Ollie to do damage if I do this. Two, three, four, five. And my thinking can travel six, can't it? Oh, she's in danger there. Oh, she's dead, isn't she? I can't get over there to help her. I didn't see that happening, to be honest. It's a good move. Good move, AI. Good. Got seven. <laughs> There's just too many of them. <laughs>
Probably didn't need to get that close to die. How much does the whole right the thingy cost again? Seven. I could run her away. So Kiwi's gonna go after him. And it's this one. I think you should always go after the one that's up next. In this type of situation. Got the eight here first. Ouch. I should have used the thing before he moved. another point here before I end the turn I guess I can do something else now Let's end the turn I guess Kiwi does not get to move before him, unfortunately.
I get her out of this. I can run her away. Run away. So he's got eight attack. Four and two. Get out of town. One Ipend, the old man. What a fight. Well, we're alive. <laughs> we just got injuries, right? I don't know how this caravan is going to make it, to be honest, it's, it's in a rough spot. Falka called it, when the warp came, they came hard. There's no doubt anymore that Bulwark has some kind of command over them. Falka comes stomping towards you and Juno, flicking smoldering black ash from her shield. She doesn't look happy. Well, you know, she was dragged here against her will. Let's get something straight, you know. You drag us out of here as captives. Out here as captives. And now Bulwark's trying to hunt down and kill us. Do you see how messed up this is? And back there, you try to give me... Give my ravens orders? Tell me again when we're allowed to rest. Go on, say it to my face. I'm gonna say nothing. What do you suggest, Falka? Oh. Oh no. Don't you dare pretend to be the reasonable one r right now. Steam plumes from Falka's nostrils like an angry ox rolling through the cold air. I don't want even to hear your voice. The ravens are under my command, and if you want anyone watching your back instead of putting a knife, what if Ivor spoke on my behalf? You know what? That sounds like a great idea. Wait, what? <laughs> This ends the bickering, I'll take charge. Let's just hope she has the decency to stay out of your head. We'll see. I don't blame Folka for being angry about that. That was kind of not cool. The guard stone ahead shimmers. It seems to hold some sway over the darkness somehow. Or maybe the darkness itself finds them distasteful. Just the darkness, not like the gods. Wait, what? There's people! A golden glow greets you, the first warmth you've felt since entering the darkness. Disheveled, disheveled women and children huddle on one side of the godstone while a dredge sits on the other. The dredge has arranged a circle of obsidian stones around itself, and just outside that lies the bodies of a couple dead men. Ain't this a sight, Ollie grins, then he frowns, I have a feeling this is about to become our problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Praise the God, Son has finally come, carrying a divine light. Oh, isn't 
Hildy the traitor from the previous one? Not exactly. The matronly woman's face falls as she gets a better look at you. I know that crest. Ravens. Do you come all this way to rob us then? First we're stuck here with that slag. The Sloan hurler stands with a ring of stones wobbling loudly as you approach the godstone. The old woman recoils in disgust. Well, how interesting. This one is terrified of you, Ivor. Me? Why? She called you Destroyer. I've heard of the Destroyer before, but I had no idea I was traveling with him. Is it really you? They speak of you like we do Bellower. Thought you'd be bigger. <laughs> it was a misunderstanding. Where would you hear such a thing? Traveling with the Valka? But do you not know where we are headed? Traveling with the prisoner. You're an interesting one, Ivor. We should talk a more. Yeah, I agree. The old woman rejoins you again. After a heated battle of whispers with her kin, she clears her throat. I'm called Hilda. Um, we came here to pray when the sky is darkened. I guess I don't need to tell you we're only alive now because of this godstone. A miracle. And they say the gods are dead. Then this slag comes from nowhere. It attacks us. Killed their husbands. And mine as well. A hey, right miserable so sucker he was. But an injustice to be killed by this thing. She gestures rudely at their stone hurler. It makes a hissing sound. Like escaping st steam. We know the hurlers are ladies. Quiet filthy thing. It's trying to talk. You take us somewhere safe, surely. Surely you will. The opposite. You don't want to go anywhere we're going. God's alive. Has everyone lost their minds? At least give us some justice. Don't leave, leave this slag alive to kill us and eat our children. What's the dredge story? Hild brussels an implication Afrin taps her spear and the horns vibrate with faint hum. Then the dredge sings a soft response. Oh, she talks using the spear. That's neat. She says they left her no choice but to defend herself. Stuck here, same as them. By the gods, we've only found the only slag love ears in the dying world. She snatches something shiny from the hands of one of her kin, waving it in front of you. This is what ravens need, isn't it? You disgusting vultures, family heirloom, worth more than it looks. I say we just bring this stone hurler with us, Ivor. She can obviously fight. You said it was terrified of me. She won't put much of a struggle, will she? <laughs> what are you talking about? Kill it. Already kill it. We're going to take the stone hurler. Alfred speaks it to the dredge again. It shows little emotion, but it, it may just be because it lacks facial expression. Quite the motley crew you gather, destroyer. Don't call me that. I'm serious. Hild pockets her heirloom, offering only low curses, angry that the dredge lives on. Well, I've got another ranged unit, which makes me very happy, because right now I feel like my ranged is a little bit lacking. Oh look, we can rest here. If we feel like it, we can try and get our heroes back up to uh, a decent point. Hmm. And that's my alarm for the hour, so I guess I'll end the, uh, the episode here. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you around for the next one.